This is, I think, a tricky question. So I would really take, take your time setting it up. There isn't a lot to do. But uh, I think with puzzly questions, sometimes people try to rush into trying to solve, and that makes it uh, actually tough to make a good plan. So the product of the integers 1 to 30 is 30 factorial. We know that uh, 3 to the k must be a factor of this, meaning that this uh, expression must be an integer. And they're asking for a value of k that would maintain this, this integer. k could be a bunch of things, right? k could be 1. That would work. 30 factorial divided by 3 is definitely an integer. It could be 2, right? It could be 3. There are a whole bunch of things that it could be. But they're asking us for the maximum that it could be. What's the maximum value of k? Really asking us how many 3s are in 30 factorial. So that sort of labor-intensive way of doing this is to list out all the numbers divisible by 3 and count the 3s that are in there, remembering that some numbers have more than one three. Some have two threes, some have three threes. And then you need to add all these up. Easier way of doing this is just to take whatever number factorial you have, divided by three. That counts all the numbers divisible by three. There are 10 numbers divisible by three, but it's not counting the double threes and the triple threes. So in order to do that, you just take double threes or nines and you divide 30 by that. To count triple threes, you just take triple threes or 27s. You could count quadruple threes, but there are no 81s in 30 factorial. Whenever the, the numerator is smaller than the denominator, you stop. And let's remember that you don't need to go in evenly. 9 goes into 30 three times. Don't worry about the uh, remainder. Add those up. And that is the number of threes that are in 30 factorial.